Hey guys, you're watching Interesting and Fakers. This is the second part of our new project, a huge real tree house. Last week we made the foundation, this huge floor that we are going to build the walls on today. We also made such a cool staircase. These are the coolest stairs we have ever made. We took a lot of timber to make the framework this week, the base for our future walls. We also brought windows and doors. Today we'll install all this. We came to the conclusion that if we need so much timber only for the framework plus all this, then this is a huge weight. This is still not taking into account the boats with which the walls will be sheathed up. Therefore, we'll need to further strengthen our floor, although we made it strong enough, but just in any case, you never know. If you haven't watched our previous videos, then I'll briefly tell you what's here and our plans. Here from the door frame, we'll have two walls, in general the front end wall. Here we'll have a terrace, and here everything will be sheathed up, we'll install windows. We'll also have a two-pitched roof that is like this, a single slope when it's tilled to just one side. And in this corner, we want to make a small extension. Sege proposes to make a stairway up here, or to make a toilet here. I think this is an absurd idea, after all a toilet in the forest is difficult, and I propose to make a locker here for storing inventory. Also there are several pine trees here further and we want to make a suspension bridge and then build something up there so that we can go up high and high. We can also make an extension here. In this corner we can make a bridge to this pine tree or just an extension only higher somewhere at the level of the third or fifth floor and make me a bedroom there. So far we are installing a bar for the future frame. We hope that this week we'll be able to manage to do all this and install the windows and door. Today we have a fish menu, we took a huge carp, I'm gonna cook fish soup from the head, we'll bake the body itself in coals, so today we need more thick firewood to burn longer. Guys, we decided to sheet off the house right away and make the house beautiful. Tell me what kind of window to put here, this bigger one or this smaller one? Look, write in the comments, what do you think, Fikas? I think the smaller one because the light will fall on the wall and it's better to put the bigger one in the main part of the house. It's gonna be cool, here we'll have the door and here there will be a small room, sounds really cool, so here it will be the entrance from the large room, maybe here we'll put a boiler, what will heat our room, we'll put the heater, it will be great. We dug in the pillars last time and see they pierced down a little more under the ground. Just because the ground is still wet. Yes, the ground is wet. Now we'll fill in more layers of soil and these pillars will stand so tightly that this platform will not move anywhere at all. Here it goes. Well guys, we were thinking how to make a window here, vertically or horizontally. Fikas wanted horizontal, but I wanted vertical one. Write in the comments how you like it more. I'd like to position the window horizontally because this way will make the viewing angle larger. We could see from anywhere in the room what is happening outside, otherwise it won't be visible. But anyways, the window will open and you can look out. But in this way, it's like a panoramic window, that is, you can see it and see what's happening in the forest. There are also pluses. Please come to the table. Amazing. It's such a delight. I remember the summer, I remembered hiking, I once loved to go hiking, but lately we hardly go hiking only when we film 24 hours challenges. Simply amazing. Well, here comes the first problems. Our flow began to bend. This bar, I don't know whether it's visible on the camera or not, bent in the shape of an arc. Therefore, today our task is to strengthen the floor, to put at least one more support under the timber, preferably two on one side and on the other. In general, the whole structure looks very good. I can't wait until we sheet everything up and we'll have a full-fledged house. I want to install a stove there that can be always ignited. And the firewood won't get wet. We also want to make a shelf for firewood downstairs. In general, everything should be very cool. We're making the hole even deeper so that the base is better and there will be great support. And now it's time to install the door. 
Door to nowhere. There are no walls yet, but there will be a door. All good? Yep. Whoa, cool. That's it. Let me out. Through the window. We ate so much soup yesterday that we decided to leave the fish for today. As time has come, I'm preparing the place now and put it on the coals. Now we bake the fish for 15 minutes on one side and 15 minutes on the other. It should be delicious. Well, I think our fish should be ready by now. It smells great. Yes, and I think it even slightly burnt. I was afraid that it would be raw. Wow, look at this. It smells delicious. Write in the comments, have you ever baked fish like this? Look at the steam. Inside we put pepper and garlic, so now with a full stomach we can go and continue to work. Guys, it seems so high up here, I just can't believe. This will be the coolest place to sit and watch everything from above. From here any animal can be seen 500 meters away. Climb up! Now Sergei and I are thinking about how to make a roof because our gable walls ends here and there is a corner with our extension. We're thinking what to do. Make the roof slope there on the terrace or make the roof here separately. Maybe make a wall here and make a roof like a ceiling. When we are finished with the house, we'll make the attic, we'll arrange everything, make the roof, then it will be possible to deal with the first floor. We'll install the floor here, make a low fence so that there is a good view, put a table, chairs, and it will be like a gaze bowl here. And the walls can be either half sheathed up with boats, like a fence, or in the summer they can be sheathed up with an anti-mosquito net from all sides so that insects don't get in. Well, before we left, it started snowing and began to freeze. This means that in the next episode, we must try to sheathe up the whole house so that we can bask in it. Please support this project with your likes and write all your ideas in the comments. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so as not to miss the next episode. It was Vickers and interesting with you. See you next Sunday.